Our city council is fearless. They've set uh, world-class standards for us, world-class targets um, in a variety of areas in uh, sustainability uh, with their greenest city plan, a uh, healthy city strategy which is about physical and mental health of our residents, and an economic development strategy that relies on being able to attract the brightest and the best people from around the world to want to live and work and play in Vancouver. And that's our goal, is to build a city that attracts the brightest and the best from around the world. How cool is that? And it's really cool and these are really ambitious goals for us to be able to achieve. This year, we're really proud that we were the first organization or municipality to be certified by the Association of Professional Engineers and Geoscientists uh, for organizational quality management. This is absolutely critical to deliver on uh, an ambitious program and set of goals that we've been uh, given by our council. We have some pretty aggressive targets that we support here in the city. We're trying to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions by 30%, so back to 2007 levels by 2020. A key strategy for achieving this target has been replacing end-of-life units with lower and zero emission vehicle and equipment technologies. It's really exciting that we have the largest electric municipal fleet in all of Canada, and it's growing. In addition to fully electrified vehicles, there are 59 hybrid electric vehicles in the city fleet ranging from cars to pickup trucks to larger heavy-duty trucks. We also did a huge replacement and added a CNG fueling station here on site, and we made modifications to our existing green bin and refuse collection trucks in order to have them powered by compressed natural gas. We've undertaken an initiative with the local utility company to develop a system to produce renewable natural gas from our landfill gas. What we've done over the past several years is, is change how we design, construct and operate the landfill to maximize gas recovery. As we build each individual layer, we install infrastructure to collect the gas. What that means is we can get the gas as soon as possible. We can then take that gas, convert it to renewable natural gas for use in our city buildings, our city vehicles, and even for purchase by the general public as part of the natural gas distribution system. The Zero Waste 2040 program that we've embarked upon is a very significant change in how we manage our waste in the future. We have to look at all of our regulatory processes and procedures. We also have to focus more on behavior change and societal change so that we change from a society that generates waste to a society focused on eliminating waste. One of the important projects we do in sewers, as you can see behind us, is a sewer separation program where we're making sure the sanitary portion goes to the treatment plant and the storm water safely goes to our waterways. And after Daniel's team is done, my group comes in and repaves the street. We actually have our own asphalt plant, which allows us to control the amount of recycled material we use in our pavement mixes. Some of the things you can't see is our green infrastructure program where we have an aggressive plan to collect 90% of the rainwater and to treat it and clean it before we release it back to our waterways. My team is working on electrical utility which will help give people access to electricity within the right of way. This can help with food carts, electric vehicles and interesting projects like that. Here at the City of Vancouver, we set an ambitious target in 2010 to have half of all trips on walk, bike and transit by 2020. And last year, we reached that target. One of the things that we do to encourage people to walk and cycle more is by creating really great and interesting places for people to be. Whether that's you know creating a new plaza like Jim Diva or 800 Robson, or sometimes it's just about having interesting things in place like a mural or this wayfinding uh, or a bike rack. And in transportation, we work really hard to make it fun and easy and safe to walk and bike and take transit to those destinations. And one of the ways we do that is by building the all ages and ability cycling facilities and by separating walking and cycling so that they can coexist happily. We're also really excited about the launch of Public Bike Share. Last year Moby launched and within eight months had uh, over 170,000 rides. That makes it one of the most successful launches of its kind. I'm very proud of the work that we do. I'm very proud of the people that deliver those services to Vancouver and the amazing job that they do in helping to move our city forward to be a world-class city. And Vancouver is a great city and we're just very pleased to be part of it.